Hello and welcome to Lina's Skate Shop. I'm Mohamian, also known as Mo Fisher. In this video, I'm going to be speaking a bit about a skate that I consider to be a super iconic skate. Um, maybe not just to myself, maybe to a lot of you watching this video. But before we dive into that, I would like to send a shout out to the guys over at Wheel Love Skate Shop for sending me this amazing t-shirt or awesome blade cap and some socks. So if you are in the area of the capital of Malaysia, make sure to pop into that store and show some love. So without further ado, let's jump into the small little review that, that I'm about to do for you. So I was actually searching on YouTube for any reviews about this and I came across one that was done by Ricardo Lino and a few other guys, but I haven't really seen a lot or a great amount of reviews where people actually break down the skate and speak a lot about it. So I'm gonna try my utmost best to tell you what I know and what I personally think about the skate. So this is the Roshi's M12, not to be confused or mistaken with the M12 Low. The M12 Low is used by Niels Janssen, Bobby Spasso, Vito Gatto, and I'm pretty sure a few other riders that I don't really know of. Also, Joe Atkinson used the blue um, M12 low when he was a pro rider for Roshis. Yeah, so how we're gonna break the skate down is we're gonna work from the top straight down to the bottom, meaning liner first, wheels or bearings last. So what you'll be receiving when you do open up your box is an all black Roshis M12 with some silver accents which I really like. Um, the all black skate stealth mode is a personal favorite of mine. I like all black skate. And yeah, so let's dive into the skate and remove the liner. So you can actually see what they look like. So the liner is a very well padded liner. It's a nice stiff tongue, well padded on the heel. The only thing that I actually don't like about this well i'm not a, an aggressive skater who does crazy big gaps so if i should personally use the skate i wouldn't have a problem with this but i'm just throwing it out there that this skate doesn't come with a heel shock absorber it does come with this awesome uh inner sole in the liner that has this little suction cup type of octopus little thingy with bobs on the bottom, I hope you can see that. This will obviously help the inner sole from slipping in the liner when you do skate obviously and that's actually it's actually a cool thing. The liner doesn't have the Roshi's logo on the back like the Lowe's would have and also it doesn't have the little step over in the front of here that actually keeps the tongue from popping out from out of the liner but I don't think that's a major no-go or wouldn't cause any train smash. It does have the flexible toe cap, so it can actually give you that nice fit over the toes. It's actually made of the little wetsuit material, if I can call it that. Like I said, it is well padded. Overall, I think this is a very nice liner. I haven't heard a lot of people complain about it, so who am I to complain about it or say anything negative about it? I don't see anything negative about it. So that's the liner for you. The skate does come with a silver memory lock buckle, so obviously once adjusted you don't need to adjust your step again, so that's cool. For those of you who don't really like to adjust every time when you do put on your skates, it's basically one setting and boom, you're good to go. Um, once again I need to point out the silver accents that I'm really a big fan of. Lace loops, buckle of the memory strap, um, can't even call the scuff bolts because it's not cuff bolts. And yeah, and the Roche's logo. So, um, the difference between this and the Lowe's that I could see is basically the frame that comes on the, the Lowe's compared to the highs, if I can call it the M12 highs. The Lowe's obviously have a V-cut and a lower liner. So this I would consider to be an amazing skate for beginners because it's got the high cuff and the high liner, it would obviously offer way more support than 
a low for beginner skaters obviously but if you do want to dive into um, snipping away a bit of the cuff you can by all means do so I don't think it would reduce any support if I could say um, the boot itself is a reinforced plastic it's nice and flexible yet it is still rigid enough to offer maximum support it is super super durable I don't think the cuff bolts or the non-removable cuff is going to be a biggie or should cause you any issues because we still change cuffs nowadays <laughs> maybe you do, I don't yeah this is an awesome nice sole plate on the Roche's M12 it is a one piece sole plate nice space on the sole for sole grinds uh, the negative isn't really that much of a space but it, it's 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 decent it's decent it's got this amazing um, little what I call this groove it's got this amazing groove on the on the sole plate for your royales and tricks like that obviously down to the frame um, like I mentioned before the frame is different to the Roshi's M12 lows. The lows come with a more robust, more thicker um, frame and on the pro models or the team models, I hope I'm not saying this incorrectly, but I know that Niels Jansen comes with a flat setup. This obviously comes with an anti-rocker setup. When I look at this frame, I personally think it looks a bit high as in tall some of you might like it i personally don't i would choose the more robust thicker frame that comes on the m12s and pop that on you but once again um it's personal preference when it comes down to a frame so you can choose if you'd want to get this skate and put on your old frames or whatever the case is like i mentioned it's an anti-rocker setup so it comes with a wheel on the front and a wheel on the back it's a normal standard uh, Roshi's wheel. It is a 58mm 86A compound and it also comes with the normal standard ABAC 5 bearings. Let me pop this out and show you something that I'm really not a fan of and I would like Roshi's to maybe change it or something like that. But then again, it's, it's, it's just me <clears throat> who would maybe think that it should be changed. But I know that not a lot of people nowadays use a six millimeter bolt and on the m12s it comes with a, a spacer in the center that only accommodates a six millimeter bolt if that's one thing i could change in the skate it would most probably be um popping out that center spacer out of the out of the wheel from between the bearings putting in some normal ones and then hopefully use an 8mm axle but then again on the frame the holes in the frame that the bolts go through is 6mm in diameter as well so you're gonna have to either bore it out or something like that or remove the frame but then again as a beginner or novice skater getting back into aggressive inline skating I don't think this would be a major deal I'm just being a bit finicky on the skates but this is considered to be a super super good aggressive inline skate for beginners so it shouldn't be a problem with you guys but to change the frame or anything like that it has a very nice price point I'm not 100% certain what the price is in euros or dollars but I know it's going to be thousand four hundred and ninety nine land in Cape Town South Africa and overall this is like I said it is a very very good skate it is super stiff even though the material seems a bit flimsy and um, it is a narrow boot so and it does fit true to size in length wise um, I'm not too sure if going for a bigger size would give you room in width I'm not really sure about that but yeah like I said this compared to the lows the only difference is once again it is not this one is not a v-cut cuff and um, if you do get the lows it would have obviously a v-cut cuff with a lower um, liner in the back it will also come with a Roche's logo on the tongue and also a little shock absorber in the liners in the sole and also the frame so if you do have 
any questions on the skate please drop them in the comments below I'm not too sure if I covered every aspect or every point of this amazing skate um, I know I missed one thing which is the laces if you are interested in knowing it does come with a normal flat lace non waxed um, so yeah if you like this video you can gladly give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down but let me know what you didn't like about this video or if there's anything I said um, wrong and yeah make sure that you do subscribe to the channel and also if you want to see a comparison to some other skate check out Ricardo Lino's channel he normally has amazing content and he explains everything to the T so if you want to see that you can head over to his channel and give that guy's content some views if you if you'd like um, and yeah, and that's it for this amazing skate. Once again, thank you so much for watching and skate for the future, not for the now. Cheers, guys.